Yes, Charles here. Let's do 2021 AP, I think this is set one, number one here. So let's just work our way through this, see if we can do it okay. The government of an island nation grants Skyrunner Airlines exclusive monopoly rights to serve the island and they're making positive economic profits. Draw a correctly labeled graph for Skyrunner and show each of the following. Profit maximizing quantity, QM. Profit maximizing price, PM. And area of profit. So we're just drawing a monopoly graph here. Downward sloping demand. Marginal revenue curve is under the demand curve. You always want to make your marginal revenue go negative here. Uh, obviously price and quantity on the axes will have a marginal cost curve. Looks a little bit like a Nike swoosh. Where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, that's obviously profit max. This is what we find first on all of our graphs is where profit max is. Marginal cost, marginal revenue, where they come together, we go straight down. This is our quantity, so we'll do QM here. And we're going to bounce straight up, hit that demand curve, and bounce to the left. This is PM. Recognize your demand curve is not just demand. It is average revenue and it is your price. If this is your mister, this is your DARP right here. So it is the price. So that point right there is the price. Um, so we've got QM. We've done that. We've got PM. We've done that. We need to show our profits. So they are making positive economic profits. All we need to know here is that if this is the price, our average total cost curve needs to be below the price and we can show that area of profit. So at that quantity right there, that right there, that point right there is our profit for that one unit of good. For all of the goods, we'd go straight across. Just show a line going straight across and know that this rectangle here is our, what we call area of profits. Positive, obviously, positive economic profits. Uh, easy enough. So I think that's all we had to do for A. Let's look at B here. And I think we did all three of those. Um, let's read B and then we'll come back to what proposal I is or one, whatever. Suppose the government adopts a proposal one on your graph in part A, indicate the quantity of tickets sold in the short run, and label it QC. So we want a price ceiling that eliminates all deadweight loss. So what we should know, let's draw, I'm going to draw a separate graph here. I mean, I think I could show it up here pretty easy, and I will show what you needed to do up here, but I just want to show it a little bit differently here. Again, here's our demand. Here's our marginal revenue. We've got our marginal cost curve here. I like that one a little bit better. Here's where profit max is, price. PM and QM. This is P and Q. Don't forget your P's and Q's. They'll take points off. Price and quantity, obviously. This in here is dead weight loss. That triangle right in there is our dead weight loss. So we want to know exactly what we're trying to get rid of. If they said a price ceiling that will eliminate all dead weight loss, well, that point right there where marginal cost equals price, um, remember this is DARP, this is D-A-R-P, so this is not only our demand curve but also our price curve. So where your marginal cost and your price, every so often they'll say where marginal cost and demand come together but not very often. Most of the time they're referring to it as mar price equals marginal cost which is what we call allocative efficiency. If something's allocatively efficient, it is the social optimal quantity. It's the quantity that society wants. That would be that point right there, that quantity right there. Let's call it QC. If the government came in, the Tourist Bureau of Government, yeah, wanted to put in a price ceiling, they'd draw it right through there. That would be your new price ceiling. Let's just label it PC. At that price ceiling, this amount of quantity would be sold, and that would be the QC. That would eliminate all of that deadweight loss. And you should be able to see that, that as we produce more and more 
of this good. And as that price is forced low by the government, right, price ceilings are below the equilibrium price. So as that price ceilings forces the price down, more people will buy this good. And that's what our social all optimal quantity is all about, is reducing this deadweight law smaller and smaller until it disappears. And that's where our that's where allocative efficiency is very important. They ask that every test. You can't get away from it. You just have to know it. And it is where price equals marginal cost. All right, I think we're good with B. That was a little bit wordy. Um, but go back and listen to that a couple of times. I think we're, we're right on that. Um, suppose instead the government adopts proposal two, how will each of the following be affected in the long run compared to market conditions for part A in the long run? All right, eliminate Skyrunner's monopoly rights, which will remove all barriers to entry. So recognize what's going on here is that if we get rid of this monopoly rights, what we have is monopolistic competition. Right? That is drawn the same way as a demand or a monopoly graph. We're going to have demand here, marginal revenue here. We're going to draw that margin. You can see everything's the same so far, right? The understanding here too is it price and quantity, don't forget those, right? The quantity sold by Skyrunner, we really don't need the graph to show that, but if this is our monopolistic competition graph, we'd still produce, this company would be one of the many companies that is now providing service. Let's call it, uh, well, we'll just leave it as P and Q. If the quantity, what would happen to the quantity of tickets sold by Skyrunner? Now think about this, if Skyrunner is the, a monopoly, up here they're producing QM, but when, they're, when all of a sudden this market becomes monopolistically competitive, now there's more firms in the industry and they can steal, let's say compete, steal, I kind of like, but they're going to compete away some of the customers that Skyrunner has because now they're providing the same service. So Skyrunner's demand curve and marginal revenue curve will now shift to the left. As there's more companies in this industry, the demand curve would shift to the left. As this happens, quantity would decrease. So we're going to say that quantity would go down, and we're going to explain this, um, that their demand will decrease as because customers are going to be using other firms. So Skyrunner's demand curve would shift to the left, or their demand decreases due to all these other firms coming into the industry. Um, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense of what I'm saying there. As this industry becomes monopolistically competitive, more firms come in and demand would shift to the left, meaning that there's going to be less demand for just Skyrunner's um, good that he's selling. All right, price elasticity of demand for Skyrunner. Um, price elasticity of demand would become more elastic because there's more substitutes. So what we would say is there's more elasticity because of more substitutes. Oops. As, more, as there's more firms providing this good, um, there's more substitutes compared to Skyrunner's airline service, right? If there's more substitutes, that implies that our elasticity would have had to increase. Um, I hope that makes sense. Right? And if you go back to your determinants of uh, elasticity, you'll see that substitution, the more substitutes there are, um, the less of a price change there can be. It has to be become more elastic. Um, so it's harder for businesses to, to change their prices uh, or make them more expensive. They'll lose more customers. They become more elastic, not less elastic. Uh, their profits, Skyrunner's profits are obviously going to go down. Right, since they will go down to what we call zero, or either the zero economic or a normal profit, because it's a monopolistically competitive firm, and what we know is monopolistically competitive firms in the long run make zero or economic profit or normal profit. Their ATC will just touch that price. And this will be what the ATC looks like for a monopolistically competitive firm. Price just touches the ATC. The word is tangent. 
price is tangent to the ATC, and they are in long-run equilibrium. This is what a graph looks like for a monopolistically competitive firm that is in long-run equilibrium. Um, all right, deadweight loss in the market. Well, think about this for a second. Deadweight loss is represented by that triangle. I'm going to do it right up here. That triangle right there. Now, what we know, since there's more firms selling this good, we know the price is going to fall, and we know that there's going to be more quantity. So there's going to be more quantity sold as that price goes down due to more firms producing the supply. Uh, quantity would increase, and therefore dead weight loss has to go down. We talked about that over here, right? As there's more quantity sold and produced, uh, price goes down, just like it did here, and dead weight loss would decrease. Same thing's going to happen over on this side, that as there's more quantity produced, there's less dead weight loss. Does that make sense? As firms produce more and more quantity, and we had travel to the right on our graph here, dead weight loss obviously gets smaller and smaller and smaller. If we got back to here, it would de it would absolutely be gone. There'd be no dead weight loss. But we tend to know that in a monopolistically competitive market, there's going to be some dead weight loss because uh, they are monopolies, right? They can't control their price. Um, so they, they have some market power. But we know compared to Skyrunner, Skyrunner, yeah, that the dead weight loss in the market would decrease due to more quantity there. Um, all right. I think that was it. That was a little wordy, but hopefully you guys got that. Uh, let me know if in the in the comments if there's anything I could have done better. I'd like to see. All right, my friends, be safe. Take care. Bye.